the cries of relatives as another coffin arrives from the Middle East at the Dhaka's International Airport Terminal. In September 2019, Mongol Khan's wife Rohima Khatun was found dead hanging from a ceiling fan at the home where she worked as a domestic helper in Saudi Arabia. Her body has still not been returned home. The employers paid for her first eight months of work, but since then she worked without any salary. She even complained to the Saudi police about not getting paid and being abused. But they took her back to the same employer. In September 2019, I was informed of her death. In November last year, dozens of Bangladeshi female workers sent a video message from Saudi Arabia pleading for help to be rescued. Noor Jahan used to work as a domestic helper in Saudi Arabia. Unable to cope with the abused, last year she managed to escape back to Bangladesh. Over there they would frequently abuse me, never gave me enough to eat. I suffered a lot. I worked there in that house for 10 months. Whenever I demanded my salary, they used to beat me up. Once they hanged me by a ceiling fan with a rope. I almost died, but got saved by their children. Many women are also victim to human trafficking gangs and unscrupulous recruiting agents. A recent study has shown more than 50% of female workers paid money to go abroad with jobs. That's despite the women not being required to pay for government-sponsored jobs overseas. And most poor women from rural areas take loans with high interest rate to pay for the cost. Social advocacy groups are trying to help improve the situation for the workers. Domestic work must be recognized as a legitimate form of employment. Workers' rights must be respected. Many women are dying, committing suicide or being abused. There should be zero tolerance for this. At the beginning of November, a Bangladeshi woman's body was found in a garbage dump in Amman. She worked as a domestic helper for Saudi embassy staff in Jordan. Jasmine was a victim of South Asia traffic gang in the Middle East. She returned home seven months pregnant. While Kala the Begum returned home with a head injury, now she suffers from post-traumatic disorders. Like Jasmine and Kala the Begum, many others who managed to survive through these ordeals also face social stigma. And in some cases, their families do not want to accept them, while others face long-term mental health issues.